it seemed like a real grind with CC Sabathia tonight. What were you seeing from him on the mound? I, I just thought early on he was struggling with his cutter, um, you know, just from a velocity shape of the pitch and then getting it where he wanted to. And, and it got him a little bit of trouble early. He, he, he adjusted and competed really well, went more four seamers and, you know, <clears throat> After struggling there early, at least was able to to get us into the fifth inning there on on just kind of grinding it out a little bit, but um, but a tough night. You mentioned that you had the bullpen up there in the second inning already. What does it say about him? Doesn't have his best pitch in the cutter and is still able to get you into the fifth. He's such a good competitor. Um, you know, just someone that I have so much respect for um, in the way he goes about everything he does, and you know. He wasn't at his best tonight, but to, to, to kind of figure out a way and, and in some way save her pen a little bit was big. Giolito on the mound on the other side. What type of an emotion shift was it? You have Luke Voigt that hits that home run early. I have to imagine the team is feeling pretty good at that point, only for, for things to change there. <clears throat> yeah. Um, you know, obviously that's a hot pitcher right now and a guy throwing the ball really well. And he settled in and, and you know, showed us a little bit why he's been so tough. You know, the ability obviously to pitch with his fastball, but but that change up in any count that he's able to throw, um, you know, even if he's behind is a, is kind of an equalizer for him. You know, the, the slider he's mixing in now. So, uh, you know, he made it tough on us and, and we just weren't able to mount enough. Sessa has really had a rough June. What's going on with him? Well, you know, we didn't make a couple plays behind him. That that, that didn't help. We, we didn't play real clean baseball behind him. But, you know, struggling a little bit with strike one. I mean, you know, you got, you got to come in. And it's tough to pitch from behind. And, and I think too often of late it's been, um, you know, ball one and then trying to work your way back in the count makes it tough. So getting ahead is paramount for, for any pitcher, but for Luis right now as well. Does it feel like a crisis right now with the rotation, or is this just sort of a, one of those stretches that a team goes through? Look, I mean, obviously it's been a tough stretch for us here these last 10 days or whatever it's been. Um, but I think it's been a little bit of everything. We just haven't played well enough to win consistently. And, and some nights it's been pitching. Some nights we haven't got, you know, been able to mount enough offensively. There's been a couple games where we haven't played clean defensively. We just got to play better overall and do it as a group. And when you're doing those kind of things, um, you start to notch some wins, especially with the people we have in there are capable of. But we have to play better, you know, in, in every facet of the game to start getting back in the winning column. Aaron, you guys played crazy good for a long time despite a, a, a slew of injuries. Do you yeah. feel like this, that's catching up on you guys at all in terms of fatigue? Or no, no, I don't. I mean, it's inevitable you're going to hit hit a, hit a patch, um, you know. But you know, we got to we got to play better. There's no question about it. But you know, you you can't be phased by the ups and downs that are that are inevitably going to come with the season, and we won't be. But you know. Definitely in a little bit of a rough patch where we need to play better in every facet right now. Yeah, it'll be green. Uh, Chad Green will start tomorrow.